So let me ring for sign of Pisces. All that you need to know about a situation, your person, what's coming next for you. So the first three cards for you, and then then we move to your person. Okay. So for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what's going on with you. <clears throat> for the month of April. Right now, many of you guys are focused on moving on from a situation. Okay. Uh, you you have your back turned towards someone you deeply cared for. Okay, this person could have ghosted you or just left without any closure. And now you have no option but walking away. Okay, one more card. I I, I, I do feel that many of you guys are still waiting for this person's attention. Okay, like you were, um, you are moving on. But at, at the same time, you are wondering whether they'll ever reach out. Okay, try to think of it practically. Okay, one more card. So, I, I see you being very dicey, okay? There are days when you miss them and you want to hear from them and there are days where you just want to move on, okay? I deeply believe that even if you're moving on, you have attention from other individuals. There are people who are interested in you, okay? You have got uh, uh, suitors who are interested in you, okay? Top card with 10 of swords, however, I do not see you being very interested or being open when it comes to dating. You want to take some time, okay? Take some time away, rather. Okay, you're too calm, too uh, emotionally withdrawn right now. Okay, in terms of your relationship, what's going on? I believe the person that you were being a part of was someone who's super practical, who uh, you know took steps very much you know cautiously one step at a time and they did not want to take that risk if they felt the connection wouldn't last they were not even wanting to invest okay so, so this is someone who's very boring who's who's someone who's very practical who thinks thrice four times before make, making that jump forward okay i also believe that they they, they consider their personal uh, financial life uh, as a priority and not your relationship okay not this connection okay top card we have is the tower card they definitely felt that it was a bad idea of coming together in the past okay in terms of how do you think about you for some of you this this person never really took action okay you are the ones who uh, who are giving in everything and this person was just benefiting from it okay so someone who's a taker with the judgment card here they feel like uh, Whatever this was between the two of you, it, it has taught you necessary lessons. Even if uh, they have never acknowledged it or they have never accepted it, I do believe that you both have learned lessons from this situation. Okay, In, in terms of what do they want from you now? Right now, I believe that they, are, they might just want to stay friends with you, but nothing more than that. Okay, I'm getting a very clear warning here. That this person is not looking for anything committed whatsoever okay so for many of you this could have been a fling in the past and then you guys got involved more okay uh, where you wanted something more but they were not sure about it okay so in terms of their feelings for you See, in terms of feelings, they are still very sec much sexually obsessed with you. They still think about you, but it's 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 mostly in a very sexual, toxic, addictive way. Okay. With Ten of Swords, I do believe that they have tried numerous times of ending this connection with you. Sometimes they have e like even hurt you uh, verbally, said things, done things that led to this ending. But some things were very intentional because they wanted it to end. Okay. the emperor card they, they never really showed you much emotions okay they were always emotionally withdrawn always controlling so for some of you this person could have been slightly elder to you okay i see a strong taurus i, I, I see scorpio i see capricorn okay initially uh, we also saw the judgment which is again a taurus okay sometimes people also consider judgment as a uh, libra okay With nine of cups in the reverse, this person rather took from from you than they ever gave you anything. Okay, so it so it 
it was the opposite okay they were here to take from you it, it, like even uh, if it's emotionally sometimes you know when someone is giving 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 it eventually you know drains that other person out so much so that they get depressed and you're not sure as to why you're, you're feeling this way like drained no no energy to do and and like anything in life like not feeling it and like anymore that sort of uh, like withdrawals okay so i definitely feel for many of you that this person was very very selfish very very selfish beyond selfish i do not know what that shit is called <laughs> okay and they have also uh, kind of blamed you for draining them out or expecting too much out of them you know when you're in a relationship you do have expectations and it's nothing wrong to expect a, a loyal companionship if some someone cannot give, give you that then i don't think it's your problem you are just expecting what everyone else you know expects in a connection okay in terms of uh, the intentions towards you now I still believe that in some which capacity they they still want to be in contact with you because they are so uh, addicted to you they do not want to completely kill the connection they they want to kill the emotional connection but overall verbally they still they still want to maintain some bits of contact okay why why are they doing this you know this person does not want you to move on some crazy m f you know some serious crazy m f out there okay, this person does not wish to see you with someone else uh call it selfish call it narcissistic i do not know what to call it but uh, with five of cups they do not want to lose you okay in terms of action I still believe with the Queen of Pentacles here and Three of Pentacles, they want to keep or maintain some sort of connection with you. But it's it's mostly verbal. It's it's mostly platonic. Okay, one more card in terms of what can you expect. However, you know, like they were ready for an affair, but nothing more than that. So I do not see much changes in this connection, darling. Okay, with Five of Wands in the Moon card, this 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 will revolve in. uh cycles if you do not get out of it okay in terms of what are the major blockages why are they doing this <clears throat> for many of you uh, they felt that this connection could not get to a very much uh, long term uh, you know like point where they felt you you guys could get married uh, some of you i believe that there's a age difference there is so like uh, you know you guys come from different societies where one of you could be super successful like a boss figure and the other person has just started so so there's huge difference i like there are a lot of uh, differences between the two of you i also believe that due to certain circumstances they cannot be a part of you long term uh, some of you uh, like some of you this person could already be married or, or, or like already fixed elsewhere okay they they thought of this as a fling but think that then things got complicated okay and they keep telling you that this is not right and you guys shouldn't be dating and this and that okay and i also believe that with knight of swords this person initially wasn't very honest with you okay like they 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 kept bullshitting you you know they they kept uh, telling you things that you know uh, that would keep you open to them okay with three of wands i also believe for some of you that this person could be moving elsewhere like uh, they might be uh, like possibly relocating Uh, some of this could have also been a long distance connection okay one more card but i believe that they are focused on wanting to attain something else okay in terms of how do they look at you they know that with king of cups you have emotions for them they know that uh, you know you wanted this to go all the way however however they never looked at you as an equal okay um someone who who was very judgmental you know like uh, like, like when it comes to this uh, like how they view you or what they expected from you okay in terms of how do they view the connection they felt that this this wouldn't last like this is uh, something that is just a pass by thing like uh, uh, you know for, like for the time sake okay uh, top card we have is 7 of cups you know 
initially they thought that this is one of their flings that they are being a part of okay so one kind of advice for you with the empress card know your worth know what you can offer okay do not be a part of something just to feel belonged or just you know sometimes you need to be practical okay you need to be present okay you can't uh, be in a very much uh, you know in your own world you you need to know the reality of this connection okay there's fantasy and there's reality and you need to be focused more on the reality okay uh with four of pentacles for now i think you should hold back it's time to stop it's time to set boundaries and with five of pentacles this person you know i believe that they have drained you and you need to look in a different direction this reading would not resonate with everyone it will not okay because it's it's something that will co connect to some of you not all of you okay and if you are still focused on your past person then it's time to move the fuck on okay now coming to your new lover if if it's about a new lover then i do believe that you guys will be in communication terms so you guys already are on good terms and it's also going to go to uh, the next level okay so things are looking good when it comes to your new person you know this person could be very sexually attracted to you with the wheel of fortune sometimes uh, this person gives you way too much attention and then again they hold back so it's moving in cycles so in terms of their feelings for you I believe that this has just started like maybe a month or two months older but I do believe that this person wants to uh, in like you know in like in, uh, invest and this is someone you can trust okay this has the potential of going full circle now coming back to your finances finances I believe you're going in the right direction there's nothing to be fearful of follow your gut feeling okay yeah, you do have fears but you you need to uh, possibly just let that slide okay you cannot bring your fears when you come to your working space okay you need to stay focused if you're going to be bothered if you're going to be fearful then you won't be able to focus on your work you won't be able to deliver okay so you 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 you, you need, need to leave that shit behind okay i believe you have great potential and you need to just stay uh, focused on the execution okay that is all i have for pisces if it resonated kindly hit the like button do let me know in the comment section if you're new, new to the channel do subscribe every like every subscribe counts okay if you want a personal reading with me do reach out on the website and book one for yourself we do have 15 percent discount code going on thank you so much for coming in and i hope to see you guys soon cheers love you all